I might have done something very childish, but also it's kind of awesome. So yesterday when I was doing the cleaning in the living room and I had to put things back, I decided not to. I decided instead to make an awesome pillow fort. Welcome to Fort Hoover. So let's give you the grand tour. Right, here we go. Okay, so welcome to the front lawn area. We have a very nice arrangement of pillows. We've got two signs up. One that says, Welcome to Fort Hoover. We've also got this sign over here that says, Keep calm and relax. I think we need that kind of mentality right now. Now, welcome to the roof. It's top and uh, I've obviously got three blankets here and they're all pinned into the wall using like thumbtacks or safety pin type things. Um, so they're all good. They're holding them from the, they're holding the main walls from not only moving forward but also going back too much you know it's finding that balance between them as a structural not engineer I know tons about that we've also got these lights here now these lights are not just functional they also provide a great nighttime illusion underneath we've also got our flag there and um, I think that kind of wraps it up. It is as spacious as I could make it, pretty much as big as you could make it, whilst also being very stable. So now it's time to go inside. It's not very dignified how you get in. Here we go. Hello. Perfect. So welcome to the living room slash entrance slash work office. This is like multifunctional room right here. You can get like a laptop in here, watch some Netflix and chill and just, you know, all that. Maybe even like reading a book. It's very comfy, it's cozy. It's got a great view of the ceiling from here. Just a safe place to hide away in these times of uncertainty. You also got a great view if you need to keep guard of someone coming in and out of the room. Now we should go into the other room because I, this is only like a two bedroom apartment because especially for people of my size basically all you can do is like two two bits right and uh, here we go oh this is not dignified oh and the lighting is shocking this is when it all collapses isn't it Oh, right. oh. So after that quick maneuver into this room, now this is the napping slash meditation slash, you know, relaxation room. And it's honestly so calming in here. And it's so quiet that this was genius. I mean, this idea started out very silly and childish oh but when you get back here when you go through all the strife to get here into the meditation slash nap slash relaxation area oh it's brilliant like you hear that exactly nothing right and I could literally spend the rest of the day just napping here and just you know no matter what is going on out in the world right now and I know it's absolutely horrible and I thank everyone who is fighting against this pandemic but right now in here it's bliss I don't know what it is it could be that like you know the activation of like childhood memories and imagination and stimulus of that kind of time and era but honestly, man, this it started out as a silly idea, but now with all, all this like duvets, lights, and, and things like this, oh, it's a sheer genius idea. And I thoroughly recommend it to everyone. Just build a pillow, whatever you're doing on your furlough time, build a pillow for. <laughs> Oh man, so good. Like, look, just, just you could just sit here all day and just look up, and just, just, you just feel relaxed. You no longer feel like you're in a, your living room. You feel like you're in, like a Moroccan tent, 
in the middle of the desert, just at peace, at one. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right. Um, yes, we've got to end this episode right. How you get out, not that way, because that's where all the electronics and stuff are. But this is... See so yeah, how we can do this, how fast we can do this, like, evacuation. Right, run. Oh, oh God, that's hard. Everything is hard out here. <laughs> and yes, that's not very dignified. Right, and that is how fast you can get out from there. And that is all still intact because it's been built by a structural non-engineer. So I actually thought that this would be like a great like little Facebook lol, like put a picture up on Instagram, like quick like hit. But I actually really love it. It's a brilliant, brilliant idea. And it's been up for the last three days now. It's not gonna go anywhere. I'm sorry, I just, I do love it. And that's just a great place. If I'm like working, I'm now working in there. If I'm relaxing, I'm now chilling in there. Like, this is literally where you can find me. Like, quarantine will end one day, and I am still going to be in this fort. Like, this is my new home now. Like, sod the bed, sod everything. This is it. Right. But I am now issuing you a challenge. And just, you know, you've got nowhere else to be today, so why not cheer up your own house with a pillow fort, get the kids involved, it'll keep them quiet, well, maybe not quiet, but it'll keep them occupied at least for like a good couple of hours and then they can have like, you know, little sleepovers in the living room and things, I don't know, f f fights as well, you can get some Nerf gun fights, I don't know, make it your own! Doesn't have to be like an adult kind of boring fort like this, it could be anything. Now, if you could excuse me, I need to get back to some well-earned meditation. Have a great day, guys. <laughs> Not to get overly patriotic, but this also kind of reminds me of like, you know, the Great Escape, where they built tunnels and things. So it's also fun in that aspect that, you know, your imagination could run wild in here if you were that way inclined. Or you could just have a boring sofa, it's up to you.